So guys, let's talk about the Spotify DJ AI, which is something that Spotify has just released and some people just want to try it as soon as possible because it seems like a good feature. So how can you actually use it? Well, you should know some things about it first. Uh, at first, it's not available to everyone just yet. It's a feature which is currently only available in the beta stage. And the thing is that it's not even available worldwide. So you can only get it in the United States and Canada. And and only premium users are allowed to get it. So not only you have to be in these two locations, you also have to pay for Spotify, which I assume a lot of people do. And also it's in a beta stage, so it doesn't even mean that it's like gonna be supported on every single device. So in case you don't have it on your iPhone just yet, there are a couple of different things you can try out to get it as soon as possible. So the first thing you can do is to go ahead and go to the App Store and update the Spotify app. So just look up Spotify and make sure that you have the latest version of Spotify downloaded and installed. For me, it says open, meaning that the latest version is already installed and I can just open it up to like use it normally. However, that may not solve it, of course. And when it's like geo-locked to certain locations, you're going to have to use some sort of VPN in order to be able to access uh, the American or Canadian network. So just again, go to the App Store and look up some sort of a VPN service. In case you don't have it available just yet, or if you don't subscribe to any of them, then you're going to have to find some service which you want to use. There are some of them which you can either try out for free, or you can uh, like uh, have even for example, free VPN, which you have some like limited uh, amount of time you can spend in like a different country or something. So there are some options you can try out. And using that uh, VPN, you may be able to access the American Spotify and that way you're going to be able to test out the latest feature, which is the DJ AI. Of course, I cannot guarantee that this is going to work since at first it's still in a beta stage. Yeah, it just rolls out slowly. It's not like uh, available to every single person. And also perhaps Spotify may decide that your subscription only is valid in your own country. So it doesn't work in the other country. It depends. There are many different things. I'm just telling you what you can try out to get it working as soon as possible. But keep in mind, that Spotify is going to roll it out slowly to the entire world so you will eventually get to it uh, really soon because of course it's a new feature that they try out and they actually want to make sure that everybody uses it like if you already have like your Spotify account open and then you're going to have like this pop-up right here because I mean you're not going to miss it because they tend to advertise it a lot so you wouldn't know if you had it on your Spotify so you're going to find it somewhere around the UI so it can be in the music section so you can see it right here or you can see that in in the home section it just shows up like there so you can listen to music and the good evening uh, dj is going to show up uh, there as well so in case your spotify app already supports it you're gonna find out about it because you'll definitely notice it but i also want to touch on what it actually is some people may actually be confused a bit or don't really understand on what spotify ai actually is so Spotify is another company which jumped on the AI bandwagon and that means that they also implemented artificial technology into their music. That means that they created like a DJ or like a mix tape is going to be created according to your liking. So it's just going to like mix up multiple songs together. It can talk to you to set you up for some kind of mood. It knows what which songs you were listening to yesterday or which ones you liked like a year ago at which time of the day. And it, it is supposed to learn your habits, your preferences and stuff. So it is probably going to be very useful. But and like I say, it only is available as a beta stage. So yeah, not everyone actually gets it. So that would be about it. Hope the video helped you out. I mean, I wanted to provide you at least some tips and some information that is currently available about it because there isn't a lot. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. For more content, make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech where I upload a lot of tutorials for your iPhone and iPad. And also check out the next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.